let's take an example of multiple regression using excel suppose a marketing manager needs to know the maximum spent for each channel on social media you will perform multiple regression analysis using data analysis tool we have this data set where you can see we have uh, values for instagram youtube and newspaper this is the actual sales which we can see over here now how to perform the multiple regression click on this data and then come to data analysis tool here you can see there says regression click ok once we have done this now there is independent and dependent variable which i am uh, i have already discussed on the screen you can see what is dependent variable in our case dependent variable is actual sale you can see we have selected over here now after selecting this uh, y now let us go on the input x range which is our instagram youtube and newspaper these are independent variable again we have selected all these three values and click again click on the labels because we have taken uh, labels in the excel and uh, yellow part is the labels you can see confidence level is 95 percent in the marketing cases most of the time we take confidence level either 95 percent or 99 percent now where we are going to get the output you can get the output over here in the same uh, excel or you may go with the next worksheet in my scenario i am taking here clicking on this suppose we are taking the value here this is the outcome where we want to now again going back and then we are not going to uh, talk about residual this is the fundamental basic concept of multiple regression so let us keep it like this and then click ok now you can see this is the summary outcome which i have shown you uh, I have already created this summary so for now we are not going to take this I am deleting it now this is the summary which I want to explain so in the summary output what things you will going to consider for now uh, there are a lot many things but most important thing which we want to consider is the R value what is R? R square and adjusted R square again I am describing on the screen you can see uh, here you can see the value which normally we take the green part is the highlighted one r square value comes out to be 0 0.6025 uh, let us uh, keep it for two decimal 0 0.60 it is greater than 0 0.5 that means it is good for now that means instagram and uh, youtube and uh, these uh, variable that we have taken newspaper are considered to be good for the prediction of the marketing campaign now let us go uh, and see what are the coefficient value uh, we are again interested in these which is again highlighted in the green color you can see so these are the coefficient values which I am, we are going to put in the regression equation which is the regression equation this is the regression equation which we have created so you can see y predicted because y is equal to a plus b x1 plus b2 uh, x2 these are the uh, equations that you must have seen in the regression uh, lines so what we are going to do we are going to predict the sales on based on these values so coefficient over here you can see 8.59 so uh, here we have already written so these value we have calculated and we have put over here so now based on this we have created this regression equation line and uh, first is the coefficient plus the value of x1 x1 is our coefficient of uh, this uh, instagram now again see the coefficient of youtube comes out to be this x.6.063 then for a newspaper it comes out to be 0 0.08 now we have uh, you know based on these coefficient uh, values and the beta coefficients and the variables we have created and predicted the y value so now uh, again go back and uh, in the predicted sale you, with the help of a you know a formula bar we can predict these values we can put these values and predict all the sales uh, you know for the future this is the basic example of uh, multiple regression how we perform in the excel now how you will going to read it so important for you is to read these values right so look at the size of each coefficient so if you see the size of the coefficients a larger the coefficient suggests a stronger relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable so in this equation if we see the coefficient for newspaper comes out to be 0 0.086 so again i am keeping uh, you know for two decimal if you see so uh, that uh, comes out to be the largest one followed by the youtube which is uh, again 0 0.063 and the instagrams comes out to be 0 0.033 
uh, in this scenario. So even uh, if the coefficient is statistically significant, we need to uh, assess whether the magnitude of the effect is practically significant or not. So in other words, if you see, consider whether a one unit increase in the independent variable has a meaningful impact on the independent variable in the real world context. So based on the information which is provided, the coefficient for newspaper is the largest which suggests that it has the most significant impact on the predicted value of y. So it is essential uh, for you to consider statistical significance and the practical significance when evaluating the importance of each variable in the prediction model. So this is the example of multiple regression using Excel. And uh, we are going to take more forecasting technique in coming uh, videos. Uh, do let me know if you have any question related to uh, uh, reading it and uh, uh, other uh, regression techniques.